Janet Rosenberg, ASLA. Janet Rosenberg and Associates, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Janet Rosenberg was nominated by the ASLA Council of Fellows Executive Committee in the Works category. She has received considerable international acclaim beyond her native Canada. She avidly supports environmental sustainability with a core affinity for the modern city aesthetic. An arborist at heart, she's also an accomplished networker and proponent of the arts. In addition, Janet is a tireless participant in revitalization task forces and advocate for walkable cities. In her practice for 27 years, she's increasingly focused on her firm's drive to reclaim public spaces, such as waterfronts, public parks, the work environment, and the often nether transition space in between work and home. She earned a BA from York University and a degree in landscape architecture technology and honorary D letters from Ryerson University. Martha Schwartz, ASLA. Martha Schwartz Partners, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Martha Schwartz was nominated by the Boston Society of Landscape Architects in the Works category. She's widely published with projects in more than 20 countries. So the impact of her readily recognizable design style is worldwide. Her background in landscape architecture and the fine arts is reflected in her city plazas, waterfronts, streetscapes, and city branding. Her early and iconic bagel garden introduced her love for color and unusual materials and her wit. Her distinct public presence and narrative continue to open up new directions as they unite art and design at the highest level of elegance. Martha is also a strong advocate for the ASLA and women in the profession. She received her MLA from the University of Michigan. Haig Safarian, Safarian Design Group Limited, Burlington, Ontario, Canada. Haig Safarian was nominated by the ASLA Council of Fellows Executive Committee in the Leadership Management category. Since he entered the profession a quarter of a century ago, he's been a large firm team manager as well as a volunteer in service to the public and his profession. He's directed, designed, and built millions of dollars worth of public projects, from garden show education programs to planning for the Canadian sesquicentennial. He also uses these public benefit projects as a way to give landscape architecture students hands-on experience and to mentor young professionals on community leadership. Haig is a model of professionalism and instills his contribution ethic in everyone with whom he works. He received his BLA from the University of Guelph. Robert N. Shrewsbury, ASLA, Site Workshop, Seattle. Robert Shrewsbury was nominated by the Washington chapter in the works category. His diverse experience includes the planning, design, and management of projects across the U.S., in Europe, and in Asia. He's inspired by environmental responsibility as he creates meaningful, memorable places. Robert seamlessly integrates landscape architecture with the work of architects, engineers, and artists. In close collaboration with clients, He's managed multidisciplinary teams on a wide range of civic, institutional, and park projects. Robert's dedication to the practice of landscape architecture is further underscored by his commitment to serve on ASLA boards and committees, his frequent lectures, and his contributions as a mentor. He received his BLA from the University of Oregon. Robert E. Snikus, ASLA, USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service, Washington, D.C. Robert Snikus was nominated by the Potomac Chapter in the Leadership Management category. 
Throughout his career in agencies at the regional and federal levels, he's demonstrated to all that landscape architects are problem solvers. Be it gravel pit stabilization, a flood detention basin, or renovation of the USDA building on the National Mall, he's consistently introduced long-term, visionary, aesthetic solutions. Creativity and enthusiasm are his constants. He effectively tackles his administrative responsibilities, yet he still makes time to lead design teams to find creative and sustainable solutions to difficult land and water management problems. Among the most challenging and rewarding of these was the landscape regeneration plan Robert implemented following the eruption of Mount St. Helens. His BLA is from Rutgers University. Mark Truscott, ASLA, Quadruca Landscape Architecture and Planning, Sacramento, California. Mark Truscott was nominated by the Sierra Chapter in the service category. He's contributed tirelessly and effectively both within the ASLA and in his cross-discipline activities. He's a volunteer leader with the Urban Land Institute, UC Davis, and Community Design Projects. In those capacities, he educates key decision makers on the high value of landscape architecture. He generously shares his expertise with students and fellow professionals. And Mark's ASLA leadership is very nearly unmatched. He's been the president of his local and state chapters three times each since 1995. The list of his contributions to government advocacy, community activities, and ASLA initiatives is truly an inspiration to others. He earned his BSLA from Cal Poly, Pomona. James G. Verdone, ASLA, VLA Incorporated, Jackson, Wyoming. James Verdone was nominated by the Colorado chapter in the works category. He was the first landscape architect to be licensed to practice in Wyoming and the first to be appointed by the governor to sit on the state's board of architects and landscape architects. His statewide prominence has made James an influential advocate for the respectful development of one of the largest unspoiled natural ecosystems in the contiguous U.S. His designs draw on colors, textures, materials, and forms indigenous to the region. They are seamless integrations of built and natural forms. His work has received national and regional acclaim for its balanced and aesthetically pleasing solutions to complex environmental challenges. He received his BLA from North Carolina State University. Jane Futrell Winslow, ASLA, URS Corporation, Tampa, Florida. Jane Winslow was nominated by the Florida chapter in the leadership management category. Service to others is her guiding principle. She's most widely recognized for mentoring young landscape architects. A staunch advocate for the ASLA, she's also expanded traditional areas of practice and deftly manages multidisciplinary teams. Her efforts within the community for sustainability and beautification have enhanced public understanding and appreciation of the profession. Beyond being an outstanding landscape architect and role model, Jane has undertaken doctoral studies on active living to demonstrate how design affects physical activity and healthy communities. Thus, she continues her timely and important service to others. She earned her BSLA from the University of Kentucky and her MLA from Kansas State University. Daniel Winterbottom, ASLA, University of Washington, Seattle. Daniel Winterbottom was nominated by the Washington chapter in the service category. 
He gives his students community-based design exercises in a variety of challenging settings for two reasons. First, to present them with real-world situations. Second, to bring landscape architecture to those in need who are least aware of the profession's value. Together, he and his students introduce the power of landscape architecture to communities at risk. He also teaches his students to employ low-tech, cost-effective solutions, sustainable materials, and methods to address the needs of underserved communities. The program has completed more than 20 service design-build projects in the U.S. and seven internationally. Daniel is a dedicated, effective educator. His BFA is from Tufts University and MLA from the Harvard GSD. Thomas L. Woltz, ASLA. Nelson Bird Woltz Landscape Architects, Charlottesville, Virginia. Thomas Woltz was nominated by the New York chapter in the works category. The designs he implements balance the interests of landowners, conservation biologists, cultural historians, and horticulturists. Thomas is able to effectively communicate his ideas to clients, students, staff, and the public. His message is that landscape architecture can heal wounds inflicted on the land. Most poignant is the conservation agriculture studio within his firm, which interweaves seemingly contradictory site objectives. Thus, sustainable agriculture coexists with the conservation of wildlife, indigenous plants, soil, and water. To date, the studio has applied the concept to 60,000 acres of cultivated and conservation land in the U.S. and New Zealand. His BS ARC, M ARC, and MLA are from the University of Virginia.